Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the total lunar eclipse in Taurus that we will be having on the 8th, which is actually going to be tomorrow for you. Uh, we're just going to see what is going on for you during this eclipse. Uh, you have the Six of Swords as your current general energies, uh, which is pretty powerful having that plus the Judgment card. Some of you could be just, this is like a total new beginning with those two cards together. Six of Swords, you know, it kind of gives me the energy of ripping the Band-Aid off whenever, whenever I see something like this because, you know, well, well, I'll just show you. This woman and this child in this boat, they have nothing with them. They're making a complete change going across choppy waters and they're leaving everything behind. They only have the clothes on their backs. So it kind of says that they're really trusting in a new beginning or... Um, you know, they're really trusting in that they are being led towards a new beginning. And again, I do feel that you're kind of like your guides, your ancestors, this guy back here, he represents like a guide, someone who goes back and forth between the choppy waters. And it's almost like you feel like you're being guided with this energy. And I feel like you are because here you go. <laughs> you have the judgment card as your crossing energy. The crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. And the funny thing is, is that I think you just need to make a choice to make a change. And I, but I kind of also feel like you are. So it's almost like this energy is a little bit uh, redundant in this reading, I feel, because, you know, the coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. But Six of Swords tells me that you're moving towards your new life. So I don't know, a little bit redundant to me. Can we just get some clarity? Yeah, I mean, more redundancy, Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. It, it could just be that something is so exciting that, you know, you have to move towards it <laughs> because Ace of Wands is like that spark of hope, that spark of inspiration or like what you've been waiting for. You know, there's a castle crumbling on the back of the, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands is like finally something new, something I can work with. You know, it could be love, business, spirituality, doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I feel it's something new. And here you go. In the area of your thoughts, you have the Page of Pentacles. Like, what, what, where is my new thing? Page of Pentacles is a card of newness. I'm also getting something about important communication coming in for you. You have this card and the Ace of Swords. So I do feel there could be like a letter coming in the mail that could be very important. I'm not sure what that means, but you know, it could be something important. So keep your eyes open for an important letter. Don't just like throw your mail away, I'm getting. You know, it could be like it could be like a tiny little mistake here. So happy little accident, as Bob Ross says, you know, where it's like maybe you've been waiting for like a debit card, for example. I've done this before where like I just threw my mail away. My debit card was in the mail, <laughs> right? So I feel like this is saying, don't just be like, oh, this is just a blank piece. You know, like, you know how they send the debit cards out, just like blank and stuff like that. You know, it, it could be something else though. It might be like a check that's legitimate. Sometimes I think we get checks and we, we're, you know, you get those fake checks, but it's like you're getting a real one that you think is fake. So again, I would just, I get something here about needing to double check your mail for somebody out there. Uh, in the area of your foundation, you have the uh, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands says, it is time for you to be bold, assertive, and it's also time for you to not care what people think. She has this black cat on the card and in the time of tarot, black cats were considered very unlucky. So, uh, but you know, she doesn't care. She just wants her black cat. That's all she cares about. So, you know, again, you might be taking some risk here, which we actually see right here. Queen of Wands, two of cups to the five of swords. The five of swords to me can be a card of taking a risk or doing something that you feel is risky, but you know, the results could be very good for you. So if you're taking a risk to do anything, Maybe people don't agree with it, but uh, you should probably do it anyway. In the area of your past, this is the energy you're moving past. You have the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're letting go of some sort of sacrifice. There's a palm frond right here on the Ace of Swords and all branch over here. Palm fronds in the tarot represent sacrifice. They also represent like survivor energy because they grow like palm trees grow in the desert so they can survive with nothing pretty much for a very long period of time. So... I kind of get like a little bit of both and I kind of feel that you're being rewarded with balance in your life because you've stuck with something and this could be like your morals, your ethics, your beliefs is kind of what I'm feeling here, especially in love. You have the two of cups. It's like sometimes I think we, um, maybe we go through a lot of negative relationship situations and we say, okay, I'm just going to be a player now. I'm just going to go play the field or I'm just going to treat everyone like crap because of everybody else that's treated me like crap, right? But I feel like you haven't done that. It's like you've done the right thing. I feel like you've always done the right thing here, Sagittarius, in some area of your life. This doesn't have to be love. This could also be financially. Like if you always have been 
very honest financially, if you've always kind of, um, maybe you've always been very generous to other people in your life as well. All those things are popping into my head and it's almost like you're getting your karmic reward for that. I don't know, I like it, <laughs> whatever this is. So you're getting some sort of karmic reward and you don't really have any cards here that would represent your morals or your ethics. Like I would like to see the lovers or um, even the hierophant as well, you know, could kind of represent morals or ethics. But uh, that's what I feel on that two of cups. And this is coming up in the area of your near future. In the area of the next few months, you have the king of pentacles, a lot more stability. Again, I keep getting the word balance. The, the ace of swords, it has six golden yods on it and they are in perfect balance. So I do feel that your life is kind of like balancing out here, but I'm also getting balance on the king of pentacles. It could be like financial balance. He's even holding that scepter in his hand and it kind of looks like the scepter that the empress is holding. And it's standing out to me in this reading for you that, you know, maybe you're like creating something or I feel like you have the power. You know, she used that scepter to grow the wheat in front of her. And so she uses it to, you know, kind of manifest what she wants. I feel like you could be manifesting abundant success. This is Taurus, by the way, this card. So we have this eclipse in Taurus. In the area of your closest relationships, you have these six of cups. Um, this isn't just love. This is every type of relationship. I feel that, you know, really, really good card just for relationships in general, like family, friends, even love. You know, I feel that this is like childlike energy, having a good time, feeling protected, feeling happy as well, and just playful. So I feel a lot of you could just be feeling happy, playful, all that other stuff in relationships. Very pure energy that I get here as well. And the thing is, that's standing out to me. If you want love, <laughs> you know, she has this right here. See this like glove? It almost is standing out to me here like a oven mitt <laughs> or something. I kind of feel like it's saying like, you know, don't handle something too carefully. And here's what I mean by this, by the way, uh, Sagittarius is like, sometimes I think we get into a relationship and we're too afraid to mess it up. So we almost play it too safe, right? We we are either like too nice or we are afraid to have conflict with a person. So we let them kind of walk all over us. I feel like this is saying, you don't need to do that, you know, and don't do that either. It's like, I feel like it's saying, if you do that, you're not entering the relationship as who you really are. So don't be, don't enter into something like automatically fearful that you're going to lose it because I don't think you are. I think this could be a soulmate connection coming in for you. Two of cups, six of cups, definitely a new person, I would say, because of the page of pentacles, not a person from the past even though you have the six of cups here. It could be like a past life connection, I suppose, as well. But again, I would make sure that you're not handling it with, you know, oven mitts on, basically. Uh, in the area of your future feelings, you have the five of swords. Mm, I, I mean, I feel like everybody feels like this, though. <laughs> this, to me, is just like done with the crap, you know? The five of swords can represent defeat or feeling defeated, but I don't really get that here. I get more like, you know, just like sick and tired of being sick and tired type of energy here. I think this is life in general, the world in general, the way things are going. Um, I really don't have any good advice other than I think things are going to improve, but you know, we have a little bit of time to get through here. If I'm being, you know, really this is how I feel. <laughs> so, you know, I keep encouraging people to just like stick it out till 2025. If you can just, you know, get past that, I think we'll break through a lot of illusions. You know, if you're worried about like money, job and all this other stuff. And again, I like to remind people that does not mean we have to suffer from now till 2025. I would be doing everything you possibly can to improve your experience because then we're going to do it more. And that's all I focus on, right? I mean, my whole shtick is that I want people to make their own dent in the universe. And I try to spread as much information and everything as I possibly can to make that happen. So, you know, I think we can make ourselves more comfortable and I feel this is encouraging you to do that. I also feel like it's encouraging you to uh, take some sort of risk and we're gonna look more into that in a minute. At the end here, you have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, like work hard, play hard. So you do have some playful energy here with the Six of Cups. I would make sure that if you're like working really hard that you're also balancing it out with play. Remember, we talked about balance in this reading. So I would make sure that you're doing things in balance. I'm actually gonna clarify that part right now, the Five of Swords, because I just wanna get more detail on the Five of Swords. What is it talking about? I'm gonna pull three cards. You have the Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's like saying, take the risk to create something new <laughs> here. It's like you're creating your true, uh, the life you want. The Magician says you have all the talents, gifts, skills, and abilities necessary to make something happen. Nine of Pentacles says the same thing. Again, you have the King of Pentacles here as well. The King of Pentacles has grapes on his cloak. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles, she has grapes behind her. Grapes represent um, something that requires a lot of skill to grow. So it's like you have the skills necessary to be very successful. Eight of Swords is only seeing one way of doing it. 
Uh, so again, if there's something you want to accomplish, I feel the Five of Swords saying take the risk and realize that there's probably multiple ways for you to accomplish something that you want to accomplish. So stay open to that. Again, as I've said to everyone, uh, you know, this eclipse is all about flexibility and being adaptable. And so I would just say that being as if something isn't working in your life, find another way. And people are always like, I don't know how to do that. I'm like, it's, it's 2022. We have the internet. We can research pretty much anything for free, right? This doesn't even have to cost money. Um, and we can research how to overcome an obstacle or how to make more money or whatever for free. And again, trust me, there's plenty of scams out there. So be careful of that if you're looking on how to make money. But um, still, at the same time, we can still find other information on how to do it. We just have to trust it. So we're going to clarify um, the uh, Six of Swords, the Judgment card, and the Ace of Wands. You have this Restlessness card. See, if you're feeling restless, remember what I said about like waiting for something? at the beginning of the reading, but I feel like it's here. So I don't even think this restlessness is an issue any longer. Maybe you've been feeling restless. You've been hoping for new opportunity with that Ace of Wands. But again, the Ace of Wands is the spark of life. You know, I always say that the Ace of Wands, sometimes I feel it's just like the one thing that we need to get us moving because it's like the spark of inspiration. And that's what you're getting here. With the Page of Pentacles, you have the convention card. Barring uh, is what I'm going to say to you. Convention is the way things have always been done. So I would be careful of this, especially at this time. You might be thinking like, oh, I have to do this business this way or I have to get into this re uh, relationship this way. But I feel like this is saying that might work. So there's nothing wrong with sticking with convention, right? But also just stay open to other ways of doing things is what I would say here. Uh, with the Queen of Wands in your foundation, you have this health card. Mm, pretty good. I mean, I think you will be healthy. I would watch your health at this time, Mars retrograde. But, you know, I think anything you can do to improve your health would be a good idea. Um, with this energy. I'm also getting something about activity here. So maybe you need to be active. Again, I'm not a doctor. So do not take this as medical advice. With the uh, Ace of Swords in the past, you have the det Detachment card. I feel like you're moving away from Detachment. Kind of interesting because I'm pretty sure someone else had it in the same position. It's like, you know, I kind of get that feeling of you're either for me or against me <laughs> in all areas of your life. So I feel, especially in relationships, not just love, but all relationships, but also love, I think you're going to be like, you're either you're in or you're out, right? I think you're just done with this back and forth type of stuff. With the two of cups, you have this caution card. Mm, I feel I would be careful of people's ego at this time. Uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of ego cards in these readings. And, you know, I, I think sometimes with like lunar eclipses, especially, there could be some illusions or there could be some difficult lessons or things that we're not paying attention to. So I'd say that if you're meeting anyone new, make sure that they don't have too much of an ego with the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is kind of like words. <laughs> so it's like a person can have a lot of words coming out of their mouth, but can they back that up with action? So I would make sure that you're, you know, don't rush into anything at this time. If you're meeting a new person is what I'm getting here. Clearly you are. You could be meeting multiple people and you're having to make a decision like who can actually, who actually backs up their words. And, you know, maybe you have to pay attention to that. With the uh, King of Pentacles, you have this practicality card. I, I do think there is this energy of practicality at this time, meaning like kind of things are very straightforward. I, I feel more of a straightforward energy, not so much. I don't know that practicality is a word, but I think that, you know, obviously I picked this card because the universe is probably, this is the best way to say it, even though I can't even get the words out right now. But it's like, if something is going to work, it's going to work. I don't think there is going to be like there aren't going to be too many mountains to overcome. Of course, there are always obstacles. I like to remind people nothing is easy because people always leave me comments. They're like, I started this business and I had like one tiny little issue, so I had to quit. I'm like, yes, there are always going to be issues in everything you freaking do. So you're going to have to overcome some things. But, you know, the difference here is it's like if you're starting trying to start a business, for example, and you encounter an obstacle, try to overcome it. If you overcome it, keep going. If you can't overcome it, no matter, and you try a couple of things to overcome it, maybe there needs to be a new direction. Eight of swords, right? We, maybe we have to try something new or different. Same thing in love. It's like if you're banging your head against the wall with a person, it's time to leave. There are plenty of people out there who you don't have to bang your head against the wall with, you know? <laughs> I know. So, you know, that's what I would do. With the uh, six of cups, you have the submission card. See, this says you're much more free than you realize. Uh, this card reminds me of the eight of swords. There's a bird in the cage, but the cage door is open on this card. So it's like you're not stuck in something or you might feel like you're stuck in something, but you're not. Uh, I also do like, I don't think this has to be a bad thing either. Uh, the Six of Cups is the area of your closest relationships. 
And Six of Cups is a card of protection. Those children are inside of a courtyard. And I, I don't know, I kind of feel like an element of protection here. I want to clarify this. Let's see. And you have the Discovery card, which is you, Sagittarius. So you could be discovering a lot of new things. I would encourage you to kind of like expand your boundaries a little bit. Not like don't do anything crazy, of course, but maybe there are some things, you know, they're in that courtyard. Maybe they're a little bit sheltered, right? So you have the Five of Swords, which said take a risk. Maybe it's time for you to kind of explore your boundaries, like see what exists outside of what you have accomplished so far. I think it's a great time to do that. Um, so I don't know, that's what I do here. With all this mess right here, with the Eight of Swords, you have this generosity card. Every single person has had this card or has had the charity card, <laughs> literally. So it's obviously a great time to be a giving person. I like to remind people that, you know, if you have a YouTube channel, then you're being generous. You're giving information out to the world, or maybe you could be inspiring someone else to do it. Uh, if you're creating art, you're being generous. If you're writing, if you're blogging, if you're doing anything where you're putting something out into the world, then you're being generous. So I would just say like, is there something you could share at this time that could benefit other people? It's just gonna, be, gonna come back like tenfold. So that's what I feel like this is saying. I would also say like, don't be afraid to be generous, of course, in a, a relationship. I, I think that like I've said all year, the answer to the next 10 years is justice. It's like, if you want to see if a person is truly generous, maybe you have to be generous first in a relationship. If they return the favor, then you know they're generous. If they don't, then they're not. There's your answer. Um, like I said, practicality. The answers, I think the answers are very straightforward. Um, my problem with the astrology right now is Neptune and Pisces. As I always say, I blame everything on Neptune and Pisces because, you know, it's like we want to believe the, the best sometimes. We want to believe in good stuff <laughs> with Neptune and Pisces. Not always true because Neptune and Pisces also brings along some challenges, obviously. But, you know, it's like we want to believe that if we're super generous to a person, they're going to be generous back. And then when, when they're not, we're like, oh, Neptune and Pisces, I'll do it again. <laughs> so I feel like this is saying, don't like fall into that type of trap, right? With the uh, Two of Pentacles, you have this Principles card. Um, so this has to do with like your morals, your ethics, your beliefs. I would definitely stick to your principles with that Two of Pentacles because Two of Pentacles says you have a choice. Look, there's a sun and a moon at the top of the card. It's almost like you could be choosing between two people. It's like maybe one person doesn't have good morals and ethics, but maybe the other person does. That's obviously the person I would pick. Same thing in like work or business. But again, remember what I said earlier? It's kind of weird how it's popping into my head. It's almost like you're being rewarded for like sticking with your morals and ethics. But I'm wondering if this hasn't happened yet. Didn't I say this earlier in the reading, something about this? Because I said something about the lovers and the hierophant. And I've, I've done a million readings today, so I feel like I'm losing my mind. But <laughs> uh, I think I said something like that to you. And that's definitely popping up to, to me here. It's like, maybe there's an opportunity coming in for you where you could break one of your morals and ethics. I feel like this is saying, don't do it because you're going to be rewarded. It's like, there might be an opportunity that looks like, oh, I could go against my principles. But I feel like this is saying, don't, because you'll be rewarded if you don't. Can we get more detail here? Yeah, you have this negotiation card. Don't negotiate with yourself. <laughs> like I would choose the sun. I would choose your principles is what I'd say. Sometimes I think we're like, oh, and th this could be something small. Like maybe it's a diet. Maybe you're saying like, oh, I'll just have one candy bar today, but you know, tomorrow I'm not gonna do it. But you know, it's a slippery slope. So I feel like this is saying no slippery slopes at this time. Uh, we're gonna pull three cards now, Satch. One, two, and three. I'm gonna give you time to think of a question. So if you, um, we're just gonna answer one question. If you don't have a question, that's fine too. I'm gonna put all three together at the end, kind of like a uh, general-ish, personal-ish reading. But I'm gonna read the cards now. So uh, if you need time to think of your question, pause the video now. Uh, you have the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Strength card. So I feel that some of you are just walking away from things that no longer serve you. Uh, you've been thinking about walking away from something. If you're asking about it, the answer is yes. Uh, if you're asking, should I start something new? The answer is yes. What are you waiting for? Knight of Pentacles is like, what are you waiting for? The strength card says you have all the control in a situation and you need to take control. She, it, the strength card is a card of kind of like soft control. The chariot is a card of hard control in the tarot. So she really doesn't actually have to do much. Um, she has her hands in that lion's mouth. The lion has its tail between its legs, but it's submitting to her. You know, that's something that she has to do every single day. It's like she's battling with that lion is like her inner demon, her inner critic, her inner voice, right? And she's making sure that it submits to her, that it doesn't dictate what she does in life. She's the one that's in control. So I do feel something about control here, taking control of your own life. But I feel a lot of you are kind of like walking towards fulfillment, which again, a lot of people kind of got messages of really, you know, moving more towards fulfillment 
in these readings. So that makes sense to me. But uh, this looks pretty good here, Sag. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.